UFC 224 going down this Saturday. Noons versus Pinson. We got John Lineker ranked number six going against Brian Boom Kelleher. How do you see this fight going down, Austin? So as far as Lineker goes, you know, everyone knows he's got heavy hands, but he tends to load up on his shots a lot, and he's got a stationary stance, so he kind of waits forward. He waits for the right opportune moment, and then he blasts um, he blasts his opponent with whatever shots he has. Now, we know he likes the right body hook a lot. He likes the left head hook, and he does – I mean, he throws 90% of his punches are, are hooks. But what we see is he definitely tends to fade a little bit in the later rounds just due to his style and explosiveness, and he does have problems with mobile fighters. Uh, example, TJ Dillashaw and um, John Dodson. Now, Brian Kelleher, he's got diverse attacks. He's something I like to call a neo-footwork fighter, which means that he's very good at fighting from both both, uh, orthodox and a southpaw stance. He uses footwork very well. He's got good forward pressure. He threatens the takedown every now and then, and he can counter-strike moving backwards. So Lineker's keys to victory uh, are definitely to use uh, heavy leg kicks uh, to slow down Kelleher's uh, lateral movement and his switching of stances. He's got to time Kelleher's kicks with his right hook. Just because anytime someone throws a kick, you know, they're open to the, uh, the hook shot. And then he's also got to land the right body hook if he wants to slow down Kelleher over the course of the fight. Now, Kelleher, in order to win, he's got to use leg kicks after his combos. And he's got to take power from Lineker's uh, movement using the kicks, of course. He's got to use movement and angles so he's not, you know, a stationary target in front of Lineker. And he's got to make Lineker commit to, commit to big shots. You know, Lineker tends to load up on everything. So he's got to get in there in the pocket real quick, tag him with a few shots, you know. Not necessarily point fighting, but get in there, tag him with a few shots, and get out while uh, Lineker whips a shot. But as far as this fight uh, goes, I see Kelleher getting the win just because of his mobility and his uh, you know ability to deal with uh, guys that have heat in their hands. All right, guys, this was Austin and Dynasty Lou. Thank you guys for tuning in. If you guys want to follow me on social media, my Instagram handle is going to be at Lou Dynasty MMA. My Twitter is going to be at Lou Dynasty MMA as well. If you guys like this breakdown, make sure you guys uh, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe.